going to see in here, I'm going to take a look, which will reveal the valve block underneath which operates the three-point linkage. It's got all the hydraulics in here. Now, it operates these two arms when, when this lever is operated. This is going to be a school day for me as well. As I'm taking this off, I can smell some kind of uh, lubricant or ooh, maybe old gearbox oil there. Oh, that's a bigger size. I think we may have to use a hammer. I don't want to be too brutal with this, because using a hammer like this, a hardened hammer, on this cast material could mean that a shatter this casting, and we don't want that to happen. Go large. Hey, there we go. Right, got some movement. Shall we? Oh. So we've got something that is still attached down in the bottom here. Just try moving it, lift it up and down a bit. So what's that there? It's saying that you've got to remove. I'm taking off this side plate which has the oil dipstick in it to see if we can disconnect whatever's preventing this top assembly coming off. Okay, right, okay, that's given us a good window. So let's get the oil out of it. It's a better bet anyway, isn't it? But we're going to get the oil out of the bottom here. Bit nasty in there. It's just as well we're draining it and taking a look inside. At least we'll be able to clean everything up. I can see what we need to do. There's a couple of bolts here that are holding a long fork down over one of the drive shafts. So if I can get those two bolts out, hopefully we should be able to lift it up. We will. Okay, you got it? Yeah. There we are. Right, let's tip it upside down. Here we have a hydraulic piston, which under the influence of hydraulic fluid being pumped into it, pushes the piston down and therefore moves these lever arms which are attached at this link here. But it seems, well, seems quite seized up at the moment. Now looking down here, I can see the shaft that comes through and operates the hydraulic pump here. There are four pistons on this hydraulic pump, all moving in and out and pumping hydraulic fluid up a tube which runs on the inside of this casing, up through this hole here and into this orifice here and through this orifice here and through drillings goes through and into the back of this cylinder here and pushes on the piston which pushes it down. I can see that the pistons are scored which means they're not going to be working as efficiently as they should or maybe not even at all. By removing this hydraulic piston assembly here I've uncovered another problem with the pump that we've got a much bigger job on our hands than I first thought we would have. We're going to move this out of the way get this cleaned up and that will allow us to get into the bottom where the pump is and clean all the sludge out of there because it's looking pretty nasty in there. We want to keep it clean. Hydraulics need to be in a clean place. Now just as a little experiment, just to see if any seals on the piston are still operational and to see if all this gear moves, I'm just going to try it with a little bit of air. So what I'm doing is I'm using compressed air where hydraulic oil would ordinarily push through here. So if I push air in through this orifice here, it should push the piston down, which will push the push rod against this little cup here, which will then pivot these arms around. So I'm just going to put it in gently and... Okay, that's good. That is operational. 
that means that our piston and cylinder seem to be in pretty reasonable shape. If we know that the hydraulic piston side of the gear is all working, let's get it back together. On with a bit of gasket sealant, nice thin smear because we don't want our gasket to get spread out by that and split, which can happen if you put a little too much sealant on. Okay, let's lift this on. Okay, now carefully down. Okay. What we need to attach a little valve operating lever. It feels like it, yes. We're in position. Yep. Okay, so that's operating. So now we've got to get this bridge piece in. This fits over one of the drive shafts that goes out here. In goes our bridge piece. Right, are you in on your side? Yeah? Okay, push it down. That's a bit of a fiddly little job, this is. Okay, that's about that. Right. Hold on, let's just push this up. And we're in. That's our hydraulics all back together again.